Hello, how's everyone doing? Hey, Roman. Good to see you, man. Uh, obviously, first uh, first game under the belt. Uh, how would you kind of assess how the running back room went and uh, and, uh, and pass blocking as well? Um, yeah. Um, I feel like we did a pretty good job Saturday. You know, it's always room for improvement. Um, Coach Locks always talks about how good teams always make their biggest jump from week one to week two. So um, just diving into the film and seeing where we can be better. I know there's always ways that we can be better. Um, some misreads and things like that that we can get cleaned up and, and pass protection just being more firm. And I feel like, you know, Coach Scott does a, a really good job in practice during the week to make sure that we're prepared for Saturdays. And I feel like we'll do that job this week to get ready. Hey, Roman. It's only been one week, but what are the changes that you're seeing from last year's offense to this year's offense? Um, I feel like we always have firepower on offense. We always have a, guy, a lot of guys that can make big plays. But I mean, um, I feel like so far I've seen a lot of guys that are gelling together and really working hard. Um, you know, and that starts during the week. So, um, you know, I, I'll make sure that when we go out there today to practice that we are, you know, firing on all cylinders and that we're trying to be as perfect as we can with execution because, you know, those things are what translates to Saturday. What about as far as uh, the change from Coach Enos to Coach Gaddis? Um, you know, in, in college, the system is pretty much, you know, a little little tweaks here and there. But, you know, it's football at the end of the day. I feel like um, those are two great coaches and they have like minded, uh, you know, qualities and things like that. So um, I haven't seen too much of a big jump, but I know that, you know, the guys, they play really hard for whoever they're under and whoever they're uh, being coached by. So um, I feel like we'll be able to see progress in whatever aspect we're looking into. What's up, Roman? Hey. Um, so I know it's Charlotte, but uh, does it feel like there's kind of a Maryland slash Baltimore area feel to this game with Coach, Coach Poggi and all the guys that have Maryland ties coming up here for Saturday night? Um, you know, th that, that is a team that has a lot of ties to this area. Um, I actually have a lot of people on the team that I know, former teammates and things like that. But um, we're going to do what Coach Locke says, and, you know, we respect the game. So we're going to treat it like, you know, we don't know the opponent, faceless, nameless opponent, and we're going to play the game to the standard of our standard. And, you know, after the game, we'll talk to those guys and, you know, share moments with them. But um, right now we're focused on business and taking care of the game and, you know, potentially winning it. Roman, what does it mean to be playing on the primetime stage this Saturday on NBC for you guys? Um, you know, it feels really good. I feel like uh, our team has generated a lot of buzz, you know, just from the talent that we have and the potential that we have. And I feel like this is an opportunity for us to, you know, put our best foot forward and show the country and the nation what we got. Hey, Roman, just wanted to ask, um, I don't know if you saw it last week, but just the fan energy, like it felt uh, like compared to five, six years ago, um, seemed like it was, you know, more palpable buzz. I don't know if you saw, like, what does that mean for you as a player? Do you guys ever kind of stop, pause, look up, you know, see how fans are, you know, what the crowd looks like, what the fans are doing? Is it something you notice? And, you know, what do you think about it? Um, you know, I feel like it's definitely something that uh, we notice. Um, the, the fans, they play a huge role in the game for us, you know, especially with defense, you know, third down, they are – creating an environment that's really beneficial for us. And, you know, that's definitely our home field advantage. And I feel like I've been able to see the progress and fan turnout and, you know, interactions and things like that over the few years that I've been here. And I feel like they definitely do a really good job helping us to, you know, succeed because of their, their um, input in the game. And I'm really looking forward to seeing them, you know, keep coming out and doing the things that they are doing. Uh, and I know you touched on the, the added familiarity, um, but do you feel like maybe just knowing, you know, obviously like uh, Austin Fontaine, uh, you know, knowing that you got a chance to play with him and he's an integral piece in that defensive line, like just the, the familiarity with some of the players, do you feel like that helps? And then um, obviously, you know, you're only a day or two into Charlotte prep, so anything in the front seven that they do that, that kind of jumps out to you guys? Um, nothing that really jumps out to us too crazy, um, you know. They play a great brand of football and they're coached by really good coaches. So we know that we're going to have our work cut out for us. Um, you know, as we dive deeper into the film, we'll definitely see some of those things that you talk about with like some familiar guys and some of the things that they do. But um, I feel like we're going to have a good scheme. And I feel like if we stick to our scheme, we'll be put in a position to be successful. Antoine, back here. I'm sorry, Roman. Um, what do you see your development being and your role being in this second year 
you know, last year, coach was talking about, hey, these running backs, they're going to surprise people. You guys did. You had a great season. Now, what, what do you do for year two? Um, I really feel like it's just continuing to progress and prove myself right. Um, you know, our coaches put a lot of trust in me to put me out there on the field. And um, I take that with a lot of, you know, care and, and responsibility because I feel like um, we all work together to help this offense flow and help this team flow. So um, stepping into a role and just becoming more uh, confident in my role to help this team is something that I take with a lot of importance. And I feel like going into this second year of, you know, really playing, I want to be able to polish up on some things that were kind of hard for me last year so that I can help this team to be, you know, elevated because, you know, we always talk about doing better than we've done in the past. Yeah, Roman, your defense hasn't allowed a touchdown in three straight games. Just when you're on the offensive end and you see your defense keep making stop after stop after stop, how much does that kind of motivate you guys? Um, it motivates us a lot because, you know, um, not only do we get to see them on game day, get to stop the other offense and give us more opportunities, but those are the guys that we go against in practice as well. So um, I feel like if we're able to have success against them in practice, we're going to be able to have success against pretty much anybody that we play against because, um, you know, they work really hard and they make sure that we are at the top of our game every time. And as far as the game, you know, um, with them being able to get three and outs and things like that, that just helps the offense to have more plays and more time on the field. So um, I'm definitely blessed to have them on the other side of the field. And I feel like we have an iron sharpens iron mindset. So um, they're definitely making me a better player along in the process. Roman, I know that you know you're a local guy. Coach Locks always talks about how important it is to you know keep DMV kids in in Maryland. Um, and I think the the you know with NBC coming the national audience, they're going to kind of get a glimpse into how many you know DMV guys you guys bring in. What does it mean to you? And, and what would you like to tell people about how important the local ties and, and how important it is to have that type of roster where you have so many familiar faces? Um, I think it's really important, honestly. Um, you know, when I was going through my process, figuring out where I wanted to go, I had to, you know, kind of sit back and think about that as well. And um, I feel like just playing for the for the name that's on the front of the jersey, you know, being from Maryland and playing for Maryland, it gives me a, a certain sense of pride that makes me want to stay home and it makes me play a little harder because, you know, I'm representing my hometown. So um, as much DMV guys as we can get here and, you know, keeping these guys home, I think it's definitely better for the trajectory of this program because, I can see a lot of the DMV guys, they, they take things with a, a different level of heart in a different manner because, you know, it just means a little bit more. And I feel like that's kind of what you guys are able to see on Saturdays as well with, you know, us playing really hard for our home state. Hey, Roman, um, you talked about the areas that you wanted to improve on from last year to this year. What were those and how far along do you feel, feel in that improvement? Um, you know, I always talk about being able to make that guy missing space with second level cuts and things like that and uh, pass protection. Um, I want to become more firm in pass protection as well. Um, I feel like I've made a little bit of progress with that in that regard. Um, but, you know, there's always work to be done. And, you know, teams definitely scheme for different things and they try to attack weaknesses. So, um, you know, as I continue to practice throughout the weeks, I want to be able to, to you know, um, keep seeing those things and keep getting experience with that second level cut, making that guy missing space and just being able to get my punch right when I go to pass block just so I can you know, keep getting better so that, you know, I don't have any weaknesses on Saturdays when those teams come in from wherever they're coming to play against us. Roman, uh, going off that with the pass blocking, how important is that for a runner back to be able to, you know, stay on the field for those third downs and pass block? Um, and just how do you, you know, kind of, like we said, how do you feel you've come along in that regard? Um, I feel like it's definitely very important. Um, looking at the running back position as a whole, uh, a lot of people kind of, overlook that aspect of the game. Um, you know, if you can run the ball really well, some people don't really look at your pass blocking ability, but I feel like to be a well-rounded back, you have to be able to do that. So um, I feel like since I've been here, I've been really willing to do it, but um, the fundamentals weren't always there for me to do it the right way. So, um, you know, going through practices and practice weeks, I've been really working hard and Coach Scott has been working really hard to put us in positions to kind of um, attack those vulnerabilities to make us really um, work at it. And I feel like I've been getting better. You know, it's definitely some improvement that needs to be made as well. But um, protecting our quarterback is the main thing because without our quarterback, the offense doesn't work the way it needs to. And I feel like I play a key role helping that to flow because, you know, 
being right there next to him and having a vital block to, to, to keep the offense going. Kind of to bounce off that as well, uh, with all the discussion about running backs in, in the NFL and, and their roles on certain teams, how much pride do you take in pass blocking, doing the little things like that to try and make yourself more appetizing to an NFL team? And how much do you even think about that when you're developing your game? Um, you know, it's definitely something that goes into account when you have aspirations to play at the next level. But um, I say for myself, I really just want to be as good of a player as I can. So um, if it entails me pass blocking and run blocking, I want to be the best run blocker or pass blocker I can. So, um, you know, I've been trying to be more marketed, you, um, you know, put myself in a situation where I can be marketed in a better light. So uh, that's definitely what comes with it. And I've been taking it with a positive mindset because I want to be the best at the position and I want to be the best to do it. So I got to be able to be willing to do things that other people aren't. All right, thank you for the time, Roman. All right, thank you.